You know a thing or two about superheroes. Have you a encountered little. some superheroes? Some yeah. real-life superheroes here? Yeah, very much so. In this video, we're going to meet five different climate heroes whose projects are not only helping save the planet, they're also just really cool. In addition, we're going to take you behind the scenes of New York City Climate Week, which coincides with the UN General Assembly and is widely considered to be the worst traffic week of the year in New York City. Look at how much traffic. It's a shit show out here. This is the worst week to be in New York City right now, I'm telling you. What takes you usually takes you like half an hour, it's taking you two hours. Good luck. Hey guys, have a good one. What are you doing here today? I'm very much in my infancy, so I'm just listening and learning. Joel, how are you finding it? You know, this is a new territory for me, uh, but you know, it's for a good cause. We are a community that together, we can solve many of the challenges that humanity is facing. These people are all finalists for the Earthshot Prize, Prince William's foundation that helps fund projects dedicated to fighting climate change and changing our world for the better. I'm G. Adelinson from Enzo. We do tires for electric cars. Most people don't realize that at the moment we're breathing more air microplastic pollution from tires than the equivalent pollution that comes out of tailpipes. We can't forget that the tires also wear down and generate enormous amount of this PM 2.5s, PM 10s that pollute the air we breathe. So we make tires that are more durable, they last longer, so they actually wear down less. A lot of traffic in New York this week. How are you getting around? Walking. <laughs> there we go. I'm Manja Kagbo, I'm from the city of Freetown. I work for the mayor of Freetown and we're Earth Shot finalists for 2023. I'm Natasha Boulding, co-founder and CEO of Low Carb Materials. Uh, my name is Pete Majernowski, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cirque and we're scaling a solution to recycle clothing to protect the planet. So I'm Pierre, co-founder of Notpla, developing alternatives to single-use plastics using seaweeds. How does Freetown compare to New York City? Oh my goodness, it's very different, first of all. <laughs> but um, what I really like, like where we are now, we're at Central Park, it's almost as if it's an urban oasis. Yeah. And that's really what we're trying to create in our city as well. So all around us, there's buildings that are made out of concrete, yeah. amongst other materials. Yeah. Why is this problematic? So concrete is the most used material globally after water. And being in New York is, is really fitting. You can wait, see wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. After water, it's the most used material in the world? Right, yeah. I see more concrete than sky <laughs> right now. <laughs> so we, we've invented a whole range of materials that manufacturers add into concrete and asphalt that captures and permanently stores CO2 within them. Just like a tree can capture... Exactly. Best way to get around New York, bicycle. Especially on a beautiful day like today, come on, it's perfect weather. Right now, less than 1% of all clothing is recycled back into clothing, and the main reason is because it's a blend of plastic, polyester, with cotton, a natural fiber. And when you do that, it's very difficult to separate, purify, and put it back into the supply chain. So most of it's burned or landfilled. And so the solution that you guys have created... Yeah, we have a solution that's able to break down the polyester, separate it away from the cotton, clean up both of those pieces to put it back into making new clothes. I'm about to get on one of these. This is a pretty good way to get around. I, I, I can't believe, I might have to start riding these more. And at only $6 a minute, it's quite affordable as well. Yeah, where are we headed? We're headed to Times Square. You have something in your hand here. So those are like the type of uh, takeaway food containers that contain plastic that we want to replace with our seaweed coated yes. boxes. People assume that it's just cardboard, right? Yeah. But actually cardboard cannot hold greasy, moist food. You need a thin layer of plastic on the inside to make it resist to the food. So it's not recyclable, it doesn't have any easy way to be kind of like processed. So this is going to end up either in a landfill or it's not going to break down. Exactly. The if plastics this are going to be in the environment in forever. nature, this plastic will be here in 500 years. Do you think it is New York City's best hot dog? I don't think so. What are you doing here? So I totally silly what it's trying to do as far as supporting innovation and hope. At the end of the day, what really is going to be changing the world is people like the Earthshot winners that they are actively in the world, seeing the opportunity where others only see uh, this repair. It's very easy in climate to do the talking. And what I see across the entire Earthshot spectrum is that that is just not happening because people are really into the making. This is the worst traffic week of the year, oh they gosh, say. Oh my How gosh. have you been getting around just since walking. you've been here? <laughs> 
public transport, city bikes and walking, and don't sit in an SUV. I've been walking a lot. It takes you less time than getting on a taxi. You know, you get to see so much more on a bike. Yeah. Is it not the best walking city in the world? Yes, it is. You just got to wear the right shoes. Subways. <laughs> There we go. They're fantastic. So that's five climate projects in five minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. We still have a couple more seconds, so please leave a comment below saying what you think is the best way to get around New York City.